social media management workflow. What does that actually mean? Basically, in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can create content as a freelance social media manager and make that workflow super smooth for yourself so that you save time. Because I, what I don't want to happen for you is that you left your nine to five to pursue your freelance career and now you're spending more than 12 hours on your computer creating content. Why do I say that? Because I've seen it before. So before we dive in with all the juicy content, I would love for you if you hit that subscribe button and if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me. Thank you. Right, so I already created a video for you guys, which I'm gonna link here about onboarding clients. So this is basically the follow-up. Now that you've onboarded your clients and you did all the research, now you need to create the content for them. And this is very crucial because again, you can either spend a lot of time on it or you can make your life easier. Now, we first start with talking about different tools. I see that the trend is to use more and more tools because there are so many fancy CRM tools out there. And I'm not just talking about Asana or Trello. More recently, what everybody's been using is ClickUp, which I personally find is a super great tool. But as a freelancer, what can happen is that you actually spend way much more time on the tool itself, putting everything into the tool, then from that tool into the scheduling tool, that it takes you more time. It's an extra step you don't need. If you work in a big company as a social media manager, not as a freelancer, usually these companies have tools like monday.com or ClickUp because so many different people will look at your work right? You're an employee and as a social media, you're not necessarily high up the food chain, let's be honest. That's different when you're a freelancer because you're considered the expert because you are. It shouldn't be different. You are the expert. So social media manager in companies really should have a different position, but that's a video for another time. So what I want to share with you is you can absolutely use tools like that. The ones that I just mentioned, go check them out if you feel it makes your workflow faster and easier to understand and you have a clearer overview. If not, don't use them. I don't use any tools. I'm using the workflow I'm sharing with you right now for all of my clients. So first of all, we're going to decide with our client together, which is going to be our cornerstone piece of content, our main piece of content, or you could also say our long form piece of content. Is it going to be a blog post? Is it going to be a YouTube video? Or is it simple as the captions? Whatever you're going to decide on, that's the piece of content you will create first. And for this video, I'm using captions as an example because not everyone will have a blog or a YouTube, but almost everyone will have captions. So how can we use the captions as the long form format? First of all, I'm gonna link somewhere on this video. I would love for you to watch the video about batch creation. So the most important thing is that you dedicate different, different days where you do different, different days where you do the same tasks. So different task, different day. Yep, that's correct. Right, so let's say Monday is my caption writing day. I'm going to write, if I can, six to eight hours only captions. I know that sounds like a lot, but I will be able to cover three to four weeks captions for at least two to three clients. Maybe more if I'm very seasoned, maybe less if I'm not. Maybe I'll aim for two weeks instead, but minimum of two weeks for all the clients. And caption writing will just involve what I just said, caption writing. You're not doing anything else on that day. You're writing Google Doc after Google Doc with just captions. Then from there, you're gonna look at the content and you can then decide how you can repurpose that content into different platforms. But let me reverse a little bit. How do you communicate with your client what kind of content is going out when and what kind of content is good and should they approve it, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So here is my take on it. I create a monthly overview with the content topics 
that I want to cover for my client. So for example, I have a client, she's a sleep coach for babies. So I would say Monday we cover sleeping tips and then Tuesday we cover, we have a quote. Friday we have feeding tips. So basically I don't say exactly, oh, this is going to be an Instagram post and this is the question or this is going to be a reels and this is how it looks like. I just cover the topics, more or less what I'm gonna post on these different dates and then we can look at and she can tell me oh actually I have a sale here or I will also add in hey here's Valentine's Day do you want to um, do something special about that etc etc so that's the only feedback I really get from my clients there are people they will send the whole content plan every single post and the client gives feedback to every single thing to me personally, waste of your time and waste of the client's time because why would they hire somebody if they really have to every single um, step, if they have to spend the time approving it, they could just create it in that time, to be honest. And most of the clients will see that as well. They don't want to see every single thing. That's why we've created a strategy for them. That's why we had the onboarding call, the kickoff call. That's why we had so much communication in the first place. That's why I did the client questionnaire and the onboarding, etc., etc. So I know my client's business, right? So that is really my only thing that I talk through with the client. In the first month, I'll show it to them so that um, they feel super secure with it. Then moving forward, I don't necessarily share it like in a PDF or in a calendar anymore because I have monthly calls with my clients. So at the end of each month, I go through the statistics with my clients and I will tell them based on the numbers what has worked well and what hasn't worked well. So then I will also tell them, listen, that tells me we should do more of these reels. So I will create more reels in the next month. So if the client really trusts you and sees that you're the expert in that, they will say, okay, yes, let's do that, right? maybe you're not as confident yet, maybe your client doesn't trust you yet, then you might wanna share the calendar with them, maybe that makes you feel more comfortable, but always think, how can I be of service to my client? How can I already take charge and leadership for the content I create, instead of having to ask mom and dad for their approval, right? So that's the main goal for me, that you have a workflow or a client relationship with your client that really gives you that space. Of course, I always know there's always the odd person out who wants to see every single thing. Right, so now that we covered that, let's go back to our captions that we have written. Now I look at my captions and I think of ways on how I can repurpose that content. So I'm going through the captions, looking at it and thinking, oh, five steps to do X, Y, Z, that could make a great carousel post in Canva, but that could also be just a caption for a photo, or I could create a little reels for that and then use that, or I could then repurpose that reels into a different format and use it as a video for a Facebook post. So I look at the ways I can repurpose that content as much as possible, which then will fill my months easily. So even if I don't have 30 captions, I will have enough content for the whole month. So that is my next step, looking at how I can repurpose it. And then on the next day, so I don't do that when I've written the captions. After that, I'm going to the pool. So then the next day I'm looking at that and then I will create the graphics. So I just said, could we do a carousel post for that? So I'm gonna take my caption and create a Canva post, create a carousel post, create an infographic. And this is also a part where you could outsource. If you have enough clients and enough profit and you feel like, oh, I don't wanna spend so much time on that and or you don't enjoy it, you could outsource that part. So the graphic creation part, you could outsource without giving someone access to your client's account they would just create those graphics, right? That would be one part. And then I'm gonna look at it and think of how can I turn this into video content and I will create the video content for that. 
Now, if I need a video content for, um, from my client, which means their face needs to be on it, I will look at it and I will send it to them. That will be my weekly assignment to them. And they already know that once or twice a month, I will send them their assignment. So they will send me the videos. And then again, on a different day, I will edit those videos. Then on day three, I will schedule everything, put it in different planning tools. You can use Meta Business Suits for scheduling Facebook and Instagram, including stories. If you prefer a visual scheduling, you can use Planoly to visually plan the content. And then you have your whole content creation done for a month. Now, with everything along this journey, you wanna look at which part can I automate? And if I cannot automate it, can I systemize it or outsource it? The best way if you're just starting out is to write your own SOPs. Write down what are you doing every single step of the way for your clients. Then you're gonna go back and you look at your list and you're like, hmm, could I automate that? Or could I systemize that by doing batch creation? Or could I outsource that? What you don't want to do is sitting down and then write one caption for your client, edit a photo, upload it into Planoly, schedule it, and then go off to the pool. And then the next day you have to do it for another client. And then this client message, oh, what is going out on Friday? And you don't even have anything prepared. So you want to batch create everything. You want to plan ahead and automate and systemize as much as possible. Now, one thing that I truly think is important is that you constantly have a place where you can basically download all your ideas from your brain and keep them safe somewhere. So I have a folder in my notes app, but you could also use Notion. I love Notion as well for that where I just constantly write down ideas that I have for my client. You can do it for yourself as well. It's really helpful if you have like an idea like, oh, I should post this on TikTok. Put it in notes app. And then from there, whenever you create content, you will go back and you already have so many ideas. Now I forgot to mention one step. I didn't really forget it, but it's in the very beginning of the process and that's when you look for all the hashtags and when you do all the strategic work. So that is really in the very beginning when you create a social media strategy. You will also do the research which includes finding hashtags, etc. So basically what I walked you through is from the minute you kind of know your client, you know what you want to post, but you actually need to create it. So this is really the social media management workflow from creating the content, planning the content, scheduling the content, repurposing the content. And then on a daily basis, you will go and check into those different accounts, see if there are any DMs, see if there are any comments, reply to the comments, reply to the DMs if you can. If you cannot, you will say, hey, this is the social media manager of XYZ, I will forward your request. And you will send an email to the person in charge, or maybe you have it in your contract that the person in charge will check the DMs themselves. That's another option. So really then I just go into the client's account, see if there's anything going on, make sure there's nothing on fire, and then that's it. When you have scheduled that, you have a really good workflow. You don't have to constantly work anymore. You'll do it all in a couple of days and then maybe start with two weeks in advance and then do um, in mid months, do it again. So then you, it doesn't take you as long. Let me know if that makes sense for you. Also watch the video about onboarding a client so that you have the whole process. And if you have any requests for videos, let me know below. Thank you for watching. Bye.